All right, everybody, the schedule was released yesterday and I was able to uh, get up last night and write down my initial thoughts when I go through, you know, the team after team after team team. And I want to give you what, you know, my uh, initial overreaction is to what our record uh, might be at the end of the season. Um, but my first initial reaction was it ain't last year no more. But we already knew that from the teams we were playing. But where we're playing them it's it's going to be a trying season for us so we'll see what happens all right all right it ain't last year anymore it's time to play some football all right week one we have the new york football giants now the giants are the giants are undoubtedly better i'm not going to just pull them down at all uh, they added some serious weaponry with, with, with Darren Waller, which we're gonna, we are gonna have to deal with. Uh, Saquon Barkley is still Saquon Barkley. So, um, I, I do believe despite all of that, and it will be a close game, it will be a fun game, but the Cowboys will start with a win over, um, the Giants on Sunday Night Football. Week two, we have the New York Jets. Now, um, if this thing in New York with Aaron Rodgers is going, if, it, if it's gonna work out, it, it, it's not going to work out till later on. So I personally don't see what other people see in the Aaron Rodgers thing to the Jets, whatever. Because I, <laughs> I don't see any crying Packer fans. That's all I'm saying. But uh, that should be another win because the Jets will be just getting their thing together. So that would be another win, putting us at 2 and 0. Oh. The third week, we have Arizona Cardinals. This is not a bad way to start the season. This is the good part of the schedule. So week three, we have the Arizona Car Cardinals. The Cardinals, they have a new coach. Again, same as the Jets, but a different because you have a coach coming in. Uh, we'll probably take things a minute there. And I actually have a lot less faith in the Cardinals being a good team than the Jets. It is very possible the Jets. I mean, the Jets have a good core and good team, good defense, good rookies, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Arizona, I don't see as much. So that's the third win, and we should be sitting at 3-0. and Number four, we have the New England Patriots. Um, a good way to start the season. I, I think they are pro probably the worst in that division. Um, unfortunately, with the Patriots, I don't believe they can score with the um, the Cowboys. So, um, and... You know, with that roster, they're just going to have to show us otherwise for, for that because I, I don't believe in it right now. So right now, we should be sitting at 4-0. and Right now, the hype train is high. The hype, I mean, it really shouldn't be because those are four teams we should be. But the hype train, if we if we win those four and come out 4-0, and yeah, <laughs> the hype train will be up. And then we'll run into the San Francisco 49ers. Um, Sunday night football game again. This is our first test. This is a test test to go into San Francisco and win this football game will be a tough call. I want to call it. <laughs> There'll be so much <laughs> emotion from the playoffs, from us, from, from not getting past them or whatever. So I'm going to be ready for it for sure. So I hope the Cowboys will be ready for sure. So I'm going to call it for the Cowboys because it's not the playoffs. It is a regular season, a little bit different. So the real hype train starts here because if we be, if we go into San Francisco and beat the 49ers, I will be hype and I want that game so bad. I really do. All right. After that, we'll have the Los Angeles Chargers on week six. Um, hey, Kellen Moore, how you doing? I, I, I Cor Moore should be taken care of in similar fashion. Garrett was, you know, with, with I think Garrett, I think he beat uh, Andy Dalton, but he never beat us when I started or so whatever. And it was like a game 17 or games, you know, last game of the season. But um, Moore should be taken care of him just like that. Quinn knows more. Uh, he knows how to stop whatever Moore is going to be doing. So that should be another win. Hype train gets bigger and bigger, but still does not need to be. <laughs> Week seven, it's, it's a bot. So take a breath. And we're just going to just take a breath over that bot. All right. Week eight, we come back and we got the Los Angeles Rams. I don't. I, that should be a victory as well for the Cowboys. Right now, I just can't see the Rams as the elite team that they were. Uh Again, like the Patriots, they're an organization that's going to have to show us, you know, rather than, you know, let us look at their roster and see how good they are. Because right now their roster is much lesser than the rosters that we've seen them have success with. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Week nine. Dun, 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 dun. The Philadelphia Eagles. This is where the hype train falls apart. <laughs> the Eagles. 
I think the Eagles might have one loss from possibly Miami or Minnesota simply because of the, the explosiveness of both teams. They, they, they'll be able to score with Philadelphia. So, um, but I think Philly wins this one and stops our momentum right here. Seven and, 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 and puts us to seven one. A nice loss. Get our heads together. Don't get too overthought, uh, 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 over, um, hyped or whatever. So week nine, we're sitting at seven and one. Then we go to week 10. We get the Giants again at home. Perfect team to come back. I wrote down, this is so mean to say. Why would I I must have been asleep. Uh, their annual injury should set uh, set in by now. We should return to the win column at 8-1. That's what I wrote down. That is not, that's not nice. Cowboys 8-1. Uh, week 11, we have the Carolina Panthers. Uh, we'll know a lot about the Panthers at this point, whether they're a decent team or a bad team. Uh, it appears to me, outside looking in, that they're, they, they look like an expansion team. That Bryce Young will be starting and, you know, I think by that point, Bryce, Bryce Young should be starting and Michael Parsons is going to like make his life miserable. And uh, we should be sitting at nine and one at that point. All right. Week 12, um, we have the commanders and I, I can sit here and tell you that um, I can't sit here and tell you that uh, they, they, they're out of talent because they do have talent. I just don't know about the quarterback position, and that's kind of major. And, you know, I'm not a big quarterback. you got to have a great quarterback guy, but you have to have a functioning quarterback guy. It's kind of like the hump that uh, San Francisco couldn't get over. They had functioning quarterback and went down. Got another functioning quarterback and went down. Got another functioning quarterback, went down, then got a quarterback that couldn't function, that took the team down. So that's what happens, and I don't know if the the commanders have a functioning quarterback at this point. I was so scared it was going to get Lamar or Anthony. <laughs> I really was, and especially Anthony because you know their coach, Coach Cam Newton, and uh, yeah, yeah, that could have been that could have been ugly. So I'm good. This is when our schedule gets brutal. <laughs> this block of game is coming up right now. It's a full block of games that will make us or break us throughout this season. Week 13, Seattle. Uh, they appear to be downright thuggish. Um, we're going to run into a hot Geno Smith, and 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 he and and a- actually he he just would be coming off of a possible win, if not a win, a fine tuning versus San Francisco, a very good defense. So he'll be playing at a high level when we when when we take on him, um, take him on. So. Uh, I think they get us again <laughs> at home, and and this will be a rant. This will be the first real rant because you know I, I'm I'm, in, I'm emotionally involved this year. I'm emotionally involved this year. So if if Se- if Seattle comes in and beats the Cowboys in our stadium, when I've been saying how good they appear so far and how they are going to be a very physical, hard to beat football team. Don't let them slip up on us again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Week 14, we have the Philadelphia Eagles again. Okay. This time we got a long week to prepare. We might have lost that early one, whatever. But um, we have, I think, 10 days after a Thursday night game. So we will split our season with the Eagles and win that one. And we'll be sitting at 10 and 3. Week 15, we got Buffalo. We got Buffalo in December. <laughs> I don't like this game at all, and I'm not a Josh. A Josh Allen gives me no fear. I mean, if you want, just look at the playoffs last year if you want somebody. <laughs> Josh Allen gives me no fear, but the Buffalo Bills are a good football team. I cannot take that away. They're good on defense. They're gonna. They're gonna. Uh, they're they're well coached, and it's gonna be very very cold. So. If they lose to Josh Allen and the Bills, at, which I put them here too for 10 and 4, this will be rant number two. I, you will get two real emotional rants from me if those two games happen. All right. Now, now y'all looking for them. Now there's going to be more people rooting for Buffalo. Do not root for Buffalo. Root for Dallas. All right. After that, we're sitting at 10 4, week 16. We take on Miami and, you know, jeez, Miami. <laughs> Speed, 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 speed. I, you know, I want Miami to win their division. I love Tua. I love Tua. I love Tua. If, if they're healthy all season, 
running that offense with that type of speed everywhere, they're going to be they're going to be the talk of the league and a strong, strong Super Bowl threat. I hope we see them again. <laughs> Week 17, we host the Lions, and we should get back to our winning ways um, with a tough victory over the Lions. The Lions are not a bad football team, but we will be fighting for playoff positioning, and I think they they should not be able to uh, keep up with us. All right, and week 18, uh, with, 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 with five losses, we probably will be playing our starters in this game. And um, this should be a easily, we should take care of this game probably about halftime or third quarter. And, and and the commanders uh, get ready to prepare for Caleb Williams. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't want Caleb Caleb Williams in my division. But where is this Caleb Williams? What what other quarterback thirsty team is out there that uh, that will get Caleb Williams other than the? I hate I put it out there. Why did I put it out there? The universe now it might happen. All right, this leaves us at twelve and five. Um, I have the Eagles. This is very important. Uh, Cowboys 12 and 5. I have the Eagles potentially losing to Minnesota or Miami or Dallas, at least one game, Kansas City, Buffalo, Seattle, San Francisco. That's seven tough games. Well, actually, eight tough games. Eight very tough games versus uh, pl- possibly playoff teams. Um, if they lose five of those, we could be in the run for the division. So that's what I see. I don't see it as easy of a path as it was last year. But I, what did I just say? This is Philadelphia's path. Minnesota Vikings, Miami Dolphins, Dallas Cowboys twice, Kansas City Chiefs, Buffalo Bills, Seattle Seahawks, and San Francisco 49ers. Pretty much everybody we got plus Kansas City. So... Let's go. <laughs> All right, man. I hope real life is actually better than this. But, you know, I'm prepared for at least 12 and 5. If we're below 12 and 5, I'm going to be disappointed and I probably won't heads to roll. All right, guys. I'll let you. Peace.